Right, greetings everyone. This is uh, Professor Ruhi with a tutorial series on consuming and composing web services. I usually offer uh, these tutorials as part of my web services course and this time around I'm going to record the tutorials. Uh, hopefully these will be of benefit to the students as well as anybody else who's interested in the topic. What we're going to talk about in this series um, are three examples. The, we're going to start with a very basic example of consuming web services. Um, we're going to use a standalone requester engine to consume some web services online. And then we're going to also see how you can integrate a web service with a front-end application like Microsoft Excel. Uh, in the second example, we're going to take it a little bit further and we're going to see how you design and deploy web services. We're going to go through the steps required to design a WSDL file, a web services description language file, uh, and I will also take you through uh, the process of deploying a specific web service. Uh, and in the third example we're going to see how to compose web services together. So this is part one of the tutorial, so we're going to go through the first example. Now what you need for um, going through these examples if you want to follow me through if you want to do these on your own uh, this is the software environment that I'm going to be using in this tutorial for the front-end tools I'm using uh, two of Altova's tools um, the XML spy software which we're going to use in multiple capacities we're going to use it as a standalone soap engine uh, for the service requester um, and we're also going to use this to model and edit our WSDL files um, the download link for Altova XML Spy is available here, uh, so you can uh, uh, try and download this yourself. Also, we're going to use uh, in the third, uh, in the second, and the third exercises, we're going to use Altova MapForce, which is a data mapping and integration tool. It's a great tool for generating uh, code as well in multiple languages, as I'm going to show you. Uh, but primarily, it's a tool for uh, visualizing and mapping. Um, various sources of data with web services and uh, different targets. Uh, I am also going to show you an example where we're going to use Microsoft Excel uh, as a front end for web services integration. Uh, and for this, we are going to be using Microsoft's uh, Office Web Services Toolkits, which are available online. Uh, for the back end deployment environment on my computer here, where which I'm using to record this tutorial, uh, I have a web server um, running, uh, Apache Tomcat, which is my application server. Uh, I also have the Apache Axis Web Services Framework, as well as a tool which I'm going to use to compile um, the code before I deploy this online. So that's the environment that I'm going to be using. Uh, for purposes of the tutorial you might be interested in at least downloading the front-end tools and try to follow me through with these examples okay so let's go to our first example uh, for consuming web services uh, the example that we're going to use here uh, is of a currency conversion web service which is available for free online uh, the URL uh, as specified on the slide uh, is www.webservicex.net slash currency converter dot ASMX. Um, so if you go to that URL, you should be able to see the details of that web service, and you should also be able to download the WSDL file or take a look at the WSDL file itself. Um, this is a very simple web service. All it does is it converts between two different currencies. All you need to do is provide symbols for those currencies. Um, so let's click on. Uh, the link here and the first thing that we're going to do is simply call this web service individually and see what it actually does so I'm going to copy this URL uh, so what you see in the WSDL file within your browser of course is just the XML based uh, interface for this uh, web service uh, to make a little bit more sense of this you can use your XML spy software to open this link and once you use the XML spy software you can either go through the XML text or you can look at it in the visual interface also uh, so let's uh, open this file and we're going to use the URL to open the file 
So this is the XML view of the, the WSDL file. You can also click on the WSDL tab to see the visual interface, which is a little easier to read. Um, so this specific WSDL file um, specifies the capability of this web service in terms of what it does. Uh, in the second interactive example, we're actually going to design our own WSDL file, so we'll go through the steps that are involved. For now, if you're interested in going through this uh, for your own information you can do so. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a SOAP request. So I'm going to click on the SOAP menu, click on create new SOAP request, and I'm going to just type in the link to this WSDL file. As soon as you do that, um, it shows you the bindings that are available for that web service. So right now let's just uh, use the first binding and as soon as you do that it shows you the operations which are available through this web service as I said this is a very simple web service it only has one operation available called conversion rate so that's the operation we're going to use so click on OK and as soon as you do that it opens up a SOAP message for you and in the body of that SOAP message right here um, this is where you would specify the payload for your request so in the payload for your request, all you need to do is just provide the currency symbols for the currency that you're converting from and for the currency that you're converting to. So let's say that in this case we are converting from Canadian dollars to US dollars. So that's our request. So we want to get the currency exchange rate between Canadian and US dollars. So you just fill out those parts of the SOAP message, complete those parts of the SOAP message, click on the SOAP uh, <clears throat> click on the SOAP menu again and send the request to the server. As soon as you send the request to the server it will come back with the SOAP response and in the SOAP response you can see that the conversion result is 1.0084 so one Canadian dollar is a little more than a US dollar at this time. So that is how you call this web service individually uh, and this completes the first part of the first interactive example. So all we've done is we've consumed a web service, but we've done so using a SOAP engine through XML Spy, uh, or what you can also refer to as a standalone uh, requester engine for a web service. So that completes the first part of our exercise. Okay, for the second part of this exercise what we're going to do is use the exact same web service that I've just showed you um, and we're going to try and integrate this service with another application such as Microsoft Excel so this time around we're not using a standalone requester agent we're going to use a requester agent within another application in this case Microsoft Excel so I already have an Excel file here which I'm going to open it's called products prices um, and all it is, it's just a very uh, simple catalog of products that a company might be selling. Um, and as you can see, I basically have products 1 to 5, and I have their prices in Canadian dollars. And maybe what I want to figure out are the prices in US dollars and Australian currency as well. Uh, so I can, do the, I can do that if I have the currency rates. So in this spreadsheet, I have some placeholders where I want to put those currency rates. So one way of doing this is to manually go to a currency conversion website like oanda.com and get those currency rates and put it in your spreadsheet and then do the calculations manually. We're going to try and automate this process a little bit and we're going to use Excel as a requester agent which will call the web service that we just used. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So what I've already done is I've installed the Microsoft Office's web, Microsoft Office Web Services Toolkit uh, on my computer. Um, there are two versions of the toolkit available online. Uh, you can download either one of those depending on what version of Microsoft Office you're running. Um, there is the Web Services Toolkit uh, for Office XP, uh, which works with, uh, of course, Office XP as well as um, Office 2007 and 2010 and there's a specific um, offices toolkit for Office 2003 so depending on which version of Microsoft Office you're running you'll have to download one of those once you've downloaded 
the uh, once you've downloaded and installed the appropriate Office uh, Web Services Toolkit, you can click on the Developer tab and go to the Visual Basic Editor behind the scenes. And now that we have Web Services Toolkit installed, under Tools, you'll find a menu for Web Service References. And this is where you specify the web service that you want to integrate with Microsoft Excel. So in this case, I'm going to click on Web Services Reference and I'm going to call a web service from a specific URL. And the URL, again, in my case, I know the path to the WSDL file, so I'm just going to give it the URL to the currency converter WSDL file. I'll click on Search, and it fetches uh, the information from online, and it tells me there's a currency converter operation that's available, which can be used uh, within, uh, which can be used in the Excel file if I want. So I'll just uh, check mark this, and I'll say add this operation. And as soon as you do that, basically what's happening, uh, basically what's happened in this case is it's received that operation, which was uh, in the WSDL file specification, and it has created some VBA code for you. Uh, so if you quickly glance at that VBA code, basically there are different classes um, that have been created and within those classes there are different operations. In this case we just have one operation called conversion rate. So if you look at that operation, uh, basically what this is showing you is that it takes uh, two inputs, uh, a from currency and a to currency, and it returns a numerical value, which is the conversion rate. So it's already done the coding for you based on the specification in the WSDL file. And all we need to do is create our own function in VBA, which will call this conversion rate function. So that is what I'm going to do next. So I'm simply going to create my own <coughs> module. And that module is simply going to be a function. So it's going to be just a couple of lines of code. So uh, if you know VBA, then this is very simple to do. So I'm going to create a function called uh, let's say call it get rate or let's say get conversion rate and the two parameters that are required uh, for this function are going to be a from currency which is going to be a string value and there's going to be a to currency which is also going to be a string value this function is going to return a numerical value to me which might be an integer or a floating point number so I'll just declare the return value as a double and inside that function all I need to do is instantiate um, an object with uh, the web service class that was created so I'm just going to do that so I'll create a new object called web service and this is going to be an instance of the currency converter web service that I already have so I can um, just use autocomplete for that uh, so once I've created the web service instantiation I can now call whichever function I want so in this case uh, the return value for the get conversion rate function is simply going to be equal to the web service function uh, sorry the web service uh, object and within that object there is a conversion rate function which I'm going to use and the two parameters that are required are simply the from currency and the to currency sorry about that I don't know why my computer keeps bringing up that screen so from and the to currency are the two parameters that are required uh, and <clears throat> with this we're ready to go so that is the extent of our function so we've just created a new function called get conversion rate which calls the conversion rate function from within our web service and the two parameters are the from and the to currency and we should get a numerical value back alright so with this let's uh, go out of our let's save this Yes, we'll save it as a 
macro based workbook and I'll get out of here go back into the front end of my Excel workbook and now I need the rate for exchange the, the exchange rate for Canadian to US dollars so I'm going to now call the function that I just created call get conversion rate and the two parameters that are required the first currency that I'm converting from and the second currency that I'm converting to those are in cells G3 and H3 so I refer to those and I get the conversion rate right away similarly if I want the conversion rate between Canadian and Australian dollars I can say this is equal to call your get conversion rate function Canadian dollars to Australian dollars right and that gives you the conversion rate there so now that I want to put the prices in those two currencies all I need to do is multiply the Canadian price with the US dollar conversion rate and use autofill to go all the way down similarly multiply the Canadian dollar rate with uh, the Canadian dollar value with the Australian dollar currency rate and use autofill to go all the way down alright so basically what we've just done is create a function within Excel that calls a web service to get the conversion rate between two currencies and it fills out uh, those two cells for us automatically so now when you save this file and you open it again these rates should refresh um, according to the latest currency rates and you do not have to manually go to a currency exchange website to get those rates manually right so hopefully um, this will be useful and this should um, explain how web services can be integrated with any sort of front-end um, that might be desired by the client all right thanks and with this we have finished the first interactive example um, in the first part of this example we consumed a soap based web service through a standalone requester agent in XML spy and in the second part I showed you how to integrate this web service with another front-end application like Microsoft Excel okay uh, so that's it for this part uh, and uh, tune in for the second interactive example which is uh, up next